Hey guys, it's the Yukitake, and today we're going to be unboxing another phone. So today the phone that we're going to be unboxing is going to be the LG Stylo 6. It's LG's economy phone, which is on the cheaper price but still has pretty good features. It costs about $252, which is about 10,000 to maybe 14,000 pesos, Philippines. So let's get to it. Right now we have the phone right here in its case. We also bought a cell phone case from Amazon and a two screen protectors, I believe. So if it breaks, we have a backup for later. <clears throat> so, whoa. as you can see, it comes with the phone itself. It's wrapped in a nice plastic to protect the screen. SIM card, which we probably won't be using. All of the LG phones come with this nice LG fast charger, which uh, for the cell phone companies, I believe Samsung and a couple other ones are the only ones that have a fast charger. And the charging cable itself. So the LG Stylo 6, the one we purchased, uh, comes with a pearl white back finish and a 6.8 inch screen. I don't know how much that is in centimeters, but if you want, you can do the math on the internet. The camera, uh, the rear facing camera, the one you'll be taking pictures with, is a 13 megapixel camera, and it has a five megapixel wide view camera for doing uh, panoramic and scenic pictures. The front facing camera for doing selfies and stuff is also a 13 megapixel camera, so Combined, it's a relatively good deal for its $250 price. So let's turn it on, and while we wait for it to turn on, I'll go over some of its other features. Uh, so the phone has nice rounded edges, which make it a little bit harder to break the screen, supposedly, with the uh, new glass types that every cell phone company is using. Uh, it is an Android phone. like. Almost all LGs, I mean, only Apple has its own special software. Uh, besides that, it comes with a couple other features. It has this uh, back button, which used to be the power button on a lot of the old LG phones, but supposedly this is uh, acts as a screen capture or picture. You can set it up in the settings differently. Uh, another good thing about this phone, even though it's relatively on the cheap side, is that it has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, which gives it 15 hours of talk time. And if you turn it off and just keep it on a shelf somewhere, it'll last about 27 days on a full charge where you'll be able to turn it on and use it again. Uh, a feature that some people don't figure out until later is that this has a premium design uh, stylus pen and holder built into it. It should be right here. You just have to push it and a stylus pen comes out of the bottom so if you don't have a screen protector and you don't want to get your fingerprints on your phone until you get a screen protector you'll have this stylus and you can write and draw uh, it also comes with a notebook feature uh, an app that comes with LG and you'll be able to write your normal messages like you would in a text message and then it'll automatically transcribe that into your text message at the bottom and then at the end you'll just hit enter so if you don't want to text or swipe text, you can choose to write in your messages if you want, which is a nice feature with some of the apps that come with this phone. Oh my God. And it just goes back like that. You just push it back in. To take it out, you'll push it in. It'll pop out a little bit. The same for putting it back in. Uh, let's see if it's powered on now. Seems to... Uh, have not started on us. 
it's going to take a bit. Oh, uh, Penny was wondering, the Yukitake and everyone in our family uses the T-Mobile brand of service in the United States. I like it, it offers us good discounts, but you do whatever brand of service you think that is best for you. And because it's brand new out of the box, the batteries are patai, so it won't start properly. <laughs> so we might have to conclude this a little bit later. So prepare for that jump cut. So now that it's charging and we've fully signed into the phone and it's loaded up, let's log in. As it started up, so. does it come with the, right now all the settings are complete, but we have the weather app at the top, the Google search bar, and the basic apps that come with the phone, and your bottom main menu apps. Um, the nice thing about all of the LG phones is that if you like having the little cabinet button at the bottom to store all your apps in the back menu, you can do that. You'll just have to go in the settings and activate that if you don't want to have all of your folders on your main screen for your secondary one. Uh, if you scroll all the way to the other side, it offers you uh, your Google search menu, weather, some news. If you want to stay current with the most mainstream popular stuff from CNN, Fox, entertainment, and if you shift over, should be your T-Mobile apps. <clears throat> but since we just started this phone, it hasn't been set up to present the T-Mobile apps. Oop. Actually, there it goes, right there. So features with T-Mobile and its movie and other program plans. Mm. So. Now we've explained the features, we're gonna put in this new case and this new screen protector, but I'm gonna let my also handle that because I have shaky hands. So, one moment. Finally, after about five minutes and me not knowing how to put the case on properly, it's done. <laughs> but, Where's the charger cable? The battery is still dead. So, I don't know if there's any more video to review about this phone because we've just started using it. So we haven't gotten to the apps, but I'm sure that it's very similar to every other phone that exists. So, that should be everything for the uh, LG Stylo 6. So since we're done with that, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more videos. And stay tuned for future ones. Bye.